who was telling him. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Less music. Thank you for joining us. He says, I don't meet the age requirement for plasticity. <laughs> you will soon. Just keep breathing. The older you get, the more fun it is to play with. Yeah, I, I think David Guypa did a little thing with us on Friday night, uh, a little session, mm -hmm. and I think once you've done a session with us, and you've seen how quick we can recycle and start over and recycle and start over, it's, uh, it's just day and night. So I think for some experiments, you're testing a new code technique mm -hmm. or something like that. I'm waiting for the first guy to come up and say, I put plasticine in my build because I wanted some weight to it. So you can fill your ABS and it's going to feel like it's got something. If you're selling it by the pound, put this in because it's dirt cheap and you can get 20 or, yeah, what, 20 bucks a pound for the plastic. Uh, in theory, you know, I'm just saying, you know, cement would work too if you have that handy. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. It's, Absolutely. It's, it's, it's got its place, trust me on that. And that's, that brings up a, um, brings up a very good question. Um, Yes, we, we are still working on pulling those two those two things together. So if you wanted to put the uh, plasticine in with like an ABS build, the yeah. printer supports it. It's the slicer sure that's it having difficulty, but we already knew that. So yeah. I, I was talking with some other guys over the weekend. We're we're always talking to the backers, and mm -hmm. um, we have identified the correct food chain to take an STL to slice it to break it in two pieces and print them as two entities and we can actually print one right on top of the other which means I can print um, uh, something with dissimilar materials I can print um, well I could print this part right here and I can make the top of the head rubber and the rest of it plastic so it would be a safe chest piece so it wouldn't hurt you so much when I poked you with it still rubber in the eye is not a good idea so yeah. um, you get the idea yeah. let's see Next question comes from, uh, or, uh, yeah, Eagle one J that was definitely vacuum sealed. Uh, X-Ray Charlie asks, does it contain sulfur? A lot of the plasticine you can buy contains sulfur, which can interfere with other chemicals you might want to use with it. That's a good question. This is non-toxic, high quality. Hold on. It's sulfur. It's coming from the diesel fuel. Yeah. It doesn't have an odor like sulfur. At all. Well, sulfur is not, when it's not burning, you don't smell it. That's true. We'll light it on fire and see what it does. I don't think you can make it burn. I bet you, well, that actually would be a good experiment. I wonder, I wonder how flammable it is. It's made in Thailand, of all places. Well, that's um, highly suspicious. Well, it's too bad. If this was Thai food, I'd be all over it. Play-Doh that starts off as Thai food, yeah, I'm there. I don't know if this stuff's not printed or not. I think it did. This is just a bizarre build. Is it? Yes, it is a bizarre build. Is the material still coming out? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I don't think so. Oh, is, there, is there a kink? No, and I can't tell if it is or not. Anyway, Nerd Rock says the car. Oh, you're talking about uh, Ferrari's plan as in the new car plan. Um, no, I haven't checked out checked out that one just as of yet. If you got a link to it, we'll definitely check it out. Um, Yulman says, does the fan help with ABS shrinkage? That's a good question. Um, oh, you know what? It didn't stop. It wasn't. It was in the program. It wasn't going. Oh. I'll be darned. This program's so goofed up. Sorry, guys. There you go. Well, I'd say this print's not going to come out. <laughs> well, that's because the software basically told the extruder to shut off, right? No. It, it was... We told it not to cross perimeters. So all those moves were with it not moving over a perimeter. Uh, so, because it has the wrong geometries for it. Okay. Don't worry about it. This, we'll, we'll call this one of those sacrificial builds. It was fun to see what the... Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to kill this job because it's not going anywhere. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, I'll go see if there's something else we want to make out of pink. What do you got? You got something fun? Uh, we can do another vase, but no. we've been doing a bunch of those guys all week. Um, let's see. We don't have to print anything else. Actually, you can see the texture of this on the bottom, which looks good. And then you can see the texture on the top, which looks terrible. Yep. And actually it doesn't if you can get in between. So you can get through here, you can see it's pretty darn good. the fill zone. The, um, yeah. The reason it's got these stragglers up here is the, the code was telling to turn off and run all over the place. So we'll have to go through and change the print, the slicer settings. Mm -hmm. And uh, enable start stop it. It should look pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'll get this working. Okay. So, anyway, um, so you showed them a blower. Yep. And you showed them the effects it had. Mm -hmm. And you've answered a bunch of questions. Yes. And how are we doing? Is there? Uh, well, Yeoman asks, uh, does the fan help with ABS shrinkage? And um, I believe it does help the sh the uh, dimensional stability of it because we're having pretty good results with it. Mm -hmm. um, Plastic's going to shrink. I don't care what you say, it's going to shrink. Yep. But the fact that it cools it down a little bit, we still got from 70 degrees C, which is the approximate bill tap form temperature, down to room temperature, it's still going to shrink some. Yep. So and remember, plastic's coefficient of expansion is quite a bit higher than any of the normal metals. So even aluminum would be uh, one tenth of what the ABS should be for, for uh, shrinkage. So just in case anybody wants to know. There's lots of nice charts. Let's see. Um, John Albert says, can we get a close-up of the uh, printer with the fan in action? Yes. Uh, I'll do it again in just a moment once we uh, get the uh, get the file up, up and ready. Well, I better get to work here. So, um, I don't know what you'll want me to print, but I'll go looking. Okay. Um, let's see, DeCosta said, <laughs> print one of those wrenches for thing first, and he gives us a link. Uh, Igor and Jay says, it sounds like torture test time. Fan in action, you know you want to. Uh, <laughs> Not tonight. Nice no. dry. So, oh, uh, that was nice of you. You know what might be fun to do is to print that gear, but I don't know if it'll come out at all. I mean, everything there is. Uh, Remember the gear that you had right there? It was made for for PMC at one point in time. You also yeah, had one that was for also ABS. The yeah. ABS Geco that you have right there, I found uh, was. Yeah, um, yes, it's suspect. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's my start stop test. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. No, that isn't. I didn't even give you the product you wanted. No. No. Uh, no. You can always print a spine cover. In pink. Is so anyone pink. anyone who wants to wants a pink? Does anybody want a pink printer? Stop it. <laughs> well, if it's not going to be a pink printer, then go back and where's your where's your other stuff you got? You got well, I know the vase would go over well with someone. We'll just give that away. Is the vase in here? Yeah. Odd yeah. shapes. You go down. Scroll down. Which one did you use? It was the, uh, yeah. Matt, 1.75, yeah. Z, 0.3. 0.3? You, you printed a 0.3? Yep. Wow. And it came out quite nicely. It took us roughly about, as you guys saw over the uh, over the tech show, South Tech show, uh, it took us roughly about uh, an hour and, uh, or basically uh, an hour and a half, basically 90 minutes. So, yeah. Um, what are you looking for? Well, it became unregistered. Now it went slot one's there, but slot two is unregistered. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. It looks like it popped out. Hold on. No, no, no. Well, uh, one's higher, one's higher than the other. When you look at it, yes, because it went over that bump, but it's, uh, no, you're right. Yep. Every now and then, guys, whenever he tells me that I'm right, he feels so it's good. It's like, I don't know, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, right. it's like huge validation. Um, I know my father who's probably watching this right now. Whenever he tells me that, it's the, it feels the same way. <laughs> <laughs> I got his toothbrush right Cause, here. Cause it's so, so rare. <laughs> Gonna wash his mouth out. <laughs> exactly. So... <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, Powers USA, you ask a fantastic uh, question. Dacosta, I did download those files as well. Um, Powers USA asks, plastic a quiet storm price. 
and we have not come up with one. And what he's asking about, guys, is if you want it plastic, it's, it's much cheaper than the metal. The metal is one twenty-five, mm -hmm. and, and actually, that's not metal. It's a solid ABS block that we machine. Yeah. If you want us to print you one like this, uh, this is the solid version, guys. As you guys can see right here, this is this is metal. For Kickstarters, so. I'm going to charge you twenty-five bucks. For non-Kickstarters, it'll be fifty. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's practically free. So, okay. Wow. All right. And this was uh, printed with. Uh, and this was printed with cooling. Ignore this thing. I I was doing a, a strip yeah, test on this, but mm -hmm. uh, I think you can see. Here's the, here, here, I got a couple well, more here. I think you can see. I got a couple more here if you want How to see. How come it's it? not doing it? There we go. There yeah. we go. It printed off nicely. Yeah, I'm still not showing off the. Here you go. It's not focusing. Oh, you got to have twins, huh? Well, okay. Well, that one's not going to be as good. Some things are always. This one didn't twins. have the blower on it. This had the blower on it. Okay. But uh, yeah. There you go. You got to put your hand up in order for it to focus. There you go. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Okay. So the finish looked pretty good. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Party on. So okay. There you go. So DeCosta, I got your email. Thank you. Thank you for that. And yes. Um, uh, let's see. So 25 to... Okay. Wow. Um, Hildrick says, uh, film supplier, so Saint Smart is a good one. Um, yes. Yes, Saint Smart is, is, is a good one because... And make sure that when it gets to you, uh, Hildrick, make sure when it gets to you that it is vacuum sealed, that it has not been opened up, um, but they do, because they do the silica gel, that is a telltale sign. So if you got a... And, and Remember, um, the other thing that we did is that we also measured the actual filament by itself uh, with some calipers. We suggest that you always do that whenever you're vetting out a new supplier um, because the crap material, the one that, that, that produced these couple of ponds that were just, just absolutely horrible, uh, it was literally 1.69, 1.70 millimeter filament. And I gotta tell you, when you try to overflow it, underflow it, or whatever like that, it does not come out as well as the stuff that is right on tolerance. So, I mean, we could we could dial it in, but it's just not as much fun, if that makes any sense. So, there you go. Um, and, of course, you're welcome to try and welcome, you know, because you, you have full control over the printer. You can just go ahead and put in whatever settings that you want in order to compensate for that, too. Uh, Eagle one j says the interlocking gears, the Nautilus gear, and uh, you just sent us another link to that. Thank you, uh, Eagle one j and I'm pulling that up. Um, oh yeah, those would be fun to print. <laughs> so with a modified bar, okay, we'll give those a, we'll give those a try. Probably not tonight though, but we will give those a try. Uh, Seraphine says uh, asks, are all the parts uh, loaded on the hard drive for the printer? That is. Yeah. Uh, yes. So the printer, so the parts that we've been printing, uh, the stuff that's going to be uh, on your actual printer. Uh, those files and those parts, along with the STL file, the G code, all that stuff is there for you guys to take and use and modify however you guys want to make it personally yours. So, great question. Um, that means we're too lazy to print extras. It's just, just the way it is. But no, no, we just make sure that, that, that it prints on your machine first and it's within manufacturing tolerances before we ship it out the door. So, um, and set up correctly. So you guys can see everything that we did on the G code too. So, um, that's that's Tide saying he oh. signed in to tell you that if you go on the website, yeah. it's 125 for this with the metal Gibbs, which is this guy right here. Yeah. So this version of it. Yeah. But uh, if you order the other one, then it's yeah. much less. So thank you, thank you, Tide. Thank you very much. The so reason why it's it's so expensive is simple. We pay for the circuit board, which allows you programmable control of your blower, and uh, the nozzle guy, which is another twelve bucks, and uh, the fan, which is not expensive, but uh, you know it's interesting. Yeah. The one thing that's really nice about this is it opened my eyes to seeing just how strong. Oh you know, yeah. Uh, that's twenty five. Uh, that's forty pounds of pull at least. Uh, the body is ABS. We just took a soldering iron, just went around the outside to make the seal. Man, this sucker is strong. Uh, I mean, strong as in two pieces of plastics welded together. 
And it's uh Yeah, it's running just fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo! I know. That vase doesn't work, that's terrible. <laughs> I did I not I did not give it the uh, secret code though. I know. Okay. So um giving away all of our secrets online. Yeah, that's I, I hope uh, I hope the M people copy that. Alright, so Oh you can watch you give us another one. Oh Emmett's gears optimized for the Ultimaker. Um that's another one little thing that Evil and Jay put out there. He says, or this, actually, two heads would uh, suggest uh, two bowlers. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's what, that's what you could have. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Rob, we ha Rob, well, Rob, well, well, let me address that. I don't know that the PLA is going to want a blower or not. So if you're thinking of two heads, is it one ABS, one PLA, one support material, one's not support material. The whole idea of the blower is you're in a very small area. If it's a small area or you need, you need to stiffen an overhang, you're, yeah. you're, you're probably not going to be in a situation where you want to cool it uh, the same because they're kind of like ex exclusive of one another. If you're making a, a, a bridge or an overhang that's not so large and you don't want to do the support material, then the fan is going to work with your ABS great. Mm -hmm. So, uh, anyway. Good good question. Yeah. Um, let's Experiment. See. Robbie Halverson, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Um, it says, if the pink printer is shipping on Monday, uh, yes, I'll take one. <laughs> <laughs> it prints on Susan B. Cohen Day. So, yes, that's the cure. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah, you no know, cancer. Yes, mm -hmm. Su Susan B. Cohen. Cohen, yeah. Yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, Nerd Rocks asks delivery. Yes, that's a great question. Wait, 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 wait. But I haven't Skyped with Nerd Rock. Has he Skyped with you? He has not. Has he requested a Skype session? Uh, oh, I apologize. Joshua, that's my mistake. He's emailed us a hundred times, and I keep making up a story for him. Uh, you'll be like, <laughs> no. We took this weekend's trip and, of course, moved it back. We always schedule on the weekend because no one can see us on the weekdays, except for you, Joshua. Yeah. So uh, my plan now is to come up Friday morning. I know it's a new and revised plan, but it's, it's fairly realistic because uh, this is one of the printers that's going, and the other two are over there, and we've got one more we're trying to get ready. And uh, so we're trying to tee you in for this next weekend. I will confirm that on Wednesday of this week with you by email or by Skype. So feel free to Skype in with us or email us, and there you go. And Dacostad, I can't pronounce that. Dacostad. Dacostad. Or you ask about De LA. Costa. Just look at Dacosta. LA is scheduled so. for the exact time I told you. Uh, I will be going to the Southern California area from the day after Thanksgiving, and I will be there for 10 days. Yep. And during that time, we will be uh, servicing the 12, or as many of the 12 people, that we currently have uh, commitments to in the Southern California area. So that's a big trip for me. Uh, I have already arranged shipping for the printers there. So uh, w with what doesn't go on the flight with us will also be transported for us. Um, Let's see. Uh, and Ty, thank you very much for joining us and thank you for, put, put, for putting it up there, yes. Um, uh, Eagle One J says it uh, makes it easy to mass produce and assemble in my head. Hello, Tide. Uh, well, two heads could could also be uh, two parts in ABS and duplicate, uh, like uh, two pawns at once. Serious note: auction off Pinky for Susan B. Komen. That's not a bad idea. And um, we could give away the proceeds I, to it. That's uh, I like that for breast cancer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would go with that. Thank you. That's a very good idea. That didn't even. Yeah. Thank you. So. Uh, let's see, like, come on, like, number, number four. four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Who's that guy? Who's that, that, that that's, that's David Gaipa. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. We um, had a, we, uh, we talked with David for a couple hours Friday night. I wasn't working yeah. during that time. I was thinking. But, uh, yes. and, he, and, he's and a also, pleasure to talk to. And also Kevin Schumacher. So, thank yes. you, thank you very much, Kevin, for, for joining us. And I'm sorry if, if I was fumbling through everything. So, Okay, David. Just so you, everyone sees what you're talking about, that's David's printer right there. In case you thought we were just faking and we took the other ones apart, there's two more down there, all with the screens up and running, yep. and they've been printing all day. Yep. They've been printing storms and other things as well. More earthquake simulations. There we go. 
so uh, let's see. Um, Nerdbox is, uh, and, and guys, if you're watching this and you don't understand why we're, we're repeating this is because, or whatever's in the chat room, is because the chat room doesn't get saved as it goes to a past broadcast. So we're, we're you know, we're basically uh, taking all the questions, a a asking them out, and then answering them. So that anyone who watches the live broadcast afterwards, uh, they know what's going on. So thank you very much for, for Greg for, for pushing that out to us in the very beginning. Uh, and also David Guype and a couple other guys who basically said, oh, come on, I need this. So... Thank you guys for that feedback. For that feedback, um, Nerdbox says I'm going to get the get a printer in the morning. Ding dong, the bells are going to chime. Put, <laughs> pull out the stopper. Let's have a whopper. <laughs> 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 they get me. Get, they get me to my printer on time. Work in progress. Yeah. Yes. Yeoman says, "What about your uh, friend going to St. Pete?" I was going to go to St. Pete. Um, I'm not going, but. Why don't you call me tomorrow, and we'll work out what to do with your printer, because I mean, there's no reason why we can't have it ready for you. Yep. And if you are in the uh, in the U.S., um, or if you use via Skype, um, you can... I'm just going to give you my number. Sorry. It's okay. You can there get my go. number, too. There's the, uh, there is the shop phone. Well, yeah. the shop phone pretty much is... Well, Yeoman's got my number, too. Time. So there you go. Let's let's uh, let's talk, Hillman, because I want to get your printer to you. Yes. I need to get it out of here. It's taking up space. Yes. Um, the cost of Skype date. Uh, just email us. Email us, and we will put together the actual schedule for uh, when you can Skype in with us, and we'll go forward. Uh, so. Actually, that's that's not as good as if you can call us because we have to look on the calendar, and it changes all yep. the time. So what happens if you email me a time? I go look. It's not a good time. I go back and say pick another time. It's much quicker if you just say, "Well, Tuesday at six, or Thursday at two, or whatever." We're trying, we're trying to keep oh, it to sorry. one Skype session each per day because it takes several hours of our time, yeah. and we want to do them. We feel like it's really good. Everybody who's done it, I think, is appreciates it. Mm -hmm. uh, bottom line is, if I do four of them in a day, I don't do anything other than get out of bed and go back to bed. <laughs> yeah. So it's it is it is a big thing for us, and it. And really, it's been educational because it's part of our business model, yeah. and we just really want it. It's working. Yeah, <laughs> it's working. No, you're good. There you go. Yeah. So we really, we really have enjoyed seeing how it goes because we're kind of demanding the same service from people that are going to be our dealers in the future, and it's it's interesting. It's also mind-boggling to see how easy it is to do this remotely. So I like that part a lot. Um, okay. Surfing it says turn the silver part to pink. <laughs> we would have to do that for the Susan B. Uh, uh, I'm willing to get this pink anodized, and I know just yeah. the people to do this. Mm -hmm. Tie oh, dyes. Oh, I know. Huntington Beach, best place on the planet. Yep. Oh, Ding. or PK Selective. There's another in here. San Jose. Yep. That's it. You know what? This guy should be a marketing professional. He's got some good ideas. Yes. Great. Uh, because th that's great. Give me a call tomorrow. I I'm in the office all day. Yep. So, uh, let's see. Uh, Jack Sweet Charlie says, "Will they keep eighty percent of the printer like they do all their other contributors?" Eighty percent of the printer. Well, at this point, we'd probably just be giving it giving it to them for you know for the purpose. That, that's Susan B. Be coming. Well, uh, actually, let me put something out there. I don't know how that works. Some people like the uh, Salvation Army. Like take 90%. all the money and they don't give any of it to where it goes just about what well, salvation uh, army no no it's not salvation no, no. army it's it's i apologize uh, no take that back i met the red cross yes Do you guys know how much the the ceo of the red cross gets it's like five hundred thousand dollars a year mm -hmm. it's disgusting yeah so uh I, I will i will never say anything bad about the about the salvation army no they're good so and, but the best one of the best ones i deal with is called world vision and they get like ninety four cents on every dollar gets to the kid. Yeah. So in the in the form of food and, and books. So it's good stuff. Um, I'm sure there are a lot of good organizations out there, but there's also a few of them that have made a living out of creating an organization, and they are they're more about their vehicle they drive than about the people they're trying to help. That's that's enough said on that. But um, Tide wants to know the difference between an MK1 and MK2. I want to know what is the difference. It, Ty, if you give me just one moment, I'm going to grab the Mark II and I'm going to show you guys the difference between the Mark I and the Mark II and the Mark III and what it was supposed to be so that no one, so that no one has any other questions about this and so that you know what's going on. 
So he named them. I just I just keep changing them. <laughs> so <laughs> Tide, I'm glad to see you're up already. It's pretty early in the morning there, isn't it? Actually, he gets up early. He's got a little girl. I bet she's running all over the place by now. Oh yeah, she has to be. Oh, we've known Tide so long that his little girl wasn't born yet. I think yes, it wasn't well, when we first met each other, and now she's in college. Yeah, we changed our time last night. So for those of you that are in Europe or in another place, such as Tide who's in China, our time changes on Saturday night. So, oh, wow, okay. So that's good to know. It's only 11 hours difference now. The funny thing is, I think it might be in there. What are you looking for? The old extruders. Oh, I know what you're looking for. Here it is, right here. Thank you. Okay, guys. The original design that we put together was this guy that you see that's out up there. Of course, we removed the fan because we were doing some tests on it. But you see, this guy right here was known as the Mark II and also known as the Mark III. What we were trying to do as best as possible was to create an extruder that was going to be able to do not just ABS and PLA, but also do other types of exotic materials. Stuff that would be a much higher temperature as well, which is the reason why the Mark III's had nylon on there, because we didn't realize how much hotter the actual material need, uh, how much hotter the actual fusion ch chamber needed to be. As you guys can see right here, we've had two heater elements, not just one. And so, even though this was very, very good, and it had the actual, as you guys can see right there, the worm gear, where the material is being fed down into the into the into this area, we realized very quickly that, um, strangely enough, at the Bay Area Maker Fair, that somebody needed to change. So, well, the maintenance on this one is higher. What happens yeah. is, as it peels through, small amounts of plastic comes off, and, and eventually, after ten it. hours, five hours, sometimes even less, uh, it loses its traction. Yeah. So, you know. I guess we're going to, I just wanted to show this to everybody. Yeah. Some people have, might have thought that the reason we're making these crazy date commitments, which they are crazy in some cases, is because we're, we're just selling snake oils. We're not selling snake oil. This is kind That's of 200 worm drives I paid for. We could have shipped them to you, but why would I do that? I don't want 200 phone calls. <laughs> so what we wanted, did was we just bit the bullet and said it's got to be a better way to do it. And we researched and tried and researched and tried until we're, we're fairly happy with this. And so one of the very first designs that we had initially was actually using this guy right here, which is the, cru which is the crush nut design. And that was the Mark I. Mm. And so we went back to the Mark I design. We went back to this design, which was the original prototype version of it. And... It worked. And not only did that we did that, it only required a single heating element in order to do what we needed to do. Mm, well, well, truth, truthfully, truthfully, the heating amount elements we initially got unfortunately turned out to be absolute pure garbage. No, that's not true. But they're not well suited for this application. Yeah, sorry. They they don't they have to have something that dissipates the heat purely or they overheat and they disintegrate. However, yeah. two of those in series are the perfect volcano here so it's not like yes. we got messed up on it so but just to let you know that's the reason why I'm tied why we went back and called this the mark one um, because it was the very first real so the crunch point. nut and then the crunch shaft or the hop that's shaft that. is the mark two well this is the no 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 the worm gear that's one this was no, this was the mark the mark one wasn't this one the mark one was actually if you remember the the, the, the worm gear was off on the side so this we call this the Mark II, and the Mark III was going to be the hotter, the, the uh, hotter version of that, which is going to be the Mark III. But the Mark, <laughs> I know, I know, I, it, it gets, it gets, it gets e even, even <laughs> worse down down the line. Uh, uh, so if I'm sorry. it's Thursday, it's a Mark Seven. So anyway, so we're going back to this one, calling the Mark <laughs> Mark One. So I'm sorry, the one that was that was going that was going like this, uh, that one was the very first start of the Mark II. Um, because the crush nut was the one that we that we looked at initially, so 
and that was the Mark one. So there you go. I'm sorry, guys. It's late, and I haven't had. I have, I have not had my coffee.